people agonize over, um, oh, I'm using a hall, I'm using a chamber, I'm using a, a room, and I have to use a plate, and when to use this and when to use that. And I, it's gonna make people scream, but 98% of the time, it makes no difference. Because in the sauce, it's just sauce. It's just like a big shh. Now, if you are using the right plugin, is a shortcut to get into where you want to be. I know that if I put a 2016 on a kick drum and I lower this, this, and that, I'll have this effect right away. Can I do this with an R River plugin? Maybe. It's going to take longer. Why bother? But in general, like I use UAD EMT 250 when I want a glossy tail. I use UAD EMT 140 when I want something that sounds like a vintage plate that's a very particular sound and, and I need it to be recognizable. But if I want sauce on the um, like tail on a vocal and I don't want to sound it sound vintage or have that uh, more metallic vibe, then I'll pick another plugin. Maybe I'll use an EMT 250 or maybe I'll use the Valhalla uh, vintage verb and whatever the, the default is, probably a hall. It doesn't sound like the vocals in a hall, it just sounds the vocal is wet and it doesn't sound like a plate. It's all good. So it's very important to not agonize over those choices. If you put a reverb on, this is a good ex exercise to do. You have a mix that you like and it's finished. Go to your reverb plugins and change everything from hall to plate or hall to chamber and see if it changes the course of modern music. Probably not, if it's the same length, right? So it's really important to know that all these plugins are awesome because they recreate things from the past. And those things from the past are part of our culture because we know that sound from records. However, most of the time, because there's so much shit going on, uh, it doesn't really make a difference uh, unless you're using the plugin for exactly what it was specif specified for. So if I want to put something in a room or if I want to feel like it's 1964 in Detroit, I'll use the Hitsville. If I want to use gloss, I'll use the 250 because it's just awesome. If I want to have a non-linear stuff that sounds like 1983 in the Lower East Side, um, then I use uh, the UAD AMS because it's so dope. If I want to sound a little bit later, glossy and digital and recognizable, then I'll use the UAD 480. If I want to do tricks with the reverb, I use the gigahertz, the megaverb, because it has like built-in gates and mangling tools. So it's more uh, for me, and that's just, that's just me, if you ask Vance or if you ask Andrew, or if you ask anybody else, they probably say, no, I can only do, I don't know what they would say. But I personally think that unless something is very naked and the tone of the reverb is really recognizable, then the type of reverb doesn't matter as much. That's what I think.